Hey, what is up guys? Robin here from RBN Hardware. In today's video, we're going to discuss and talk about new discovered big Navi leaks and rumors. And in case you're new here at this channel, we mostly do gaming PC builds, but right now we're in the middle of a huge GPU launch. So it is not the best time to build the new PC right now. Anyway, we got tons and tons of upcoming PC builds just around the corner for you guys. So in case you're interested in any of that, make sure to subscribe to never miss an episode. So I just want to drop this on you guys right now, cause in case you haven't seen it from the look of it it does seem like ordinary 2 and big navi won't be just a white paper launch here is amd's frank azor chief architect of gaming solutions and marketing at the radium group he posted a rather interesting response to a tweet claiming that amd having a low volume of gpus at launch just like nvidia frank responds seemingly confident that he's looking forward of having that ten dollars as if he won the claim to me guys this is pretty clear indication that amd have had Big Navi and Ordinate 2 in production for probably quite a while now. On top of that, TSMC 7 and the yields are said to be excellent, and so as long as AMD is able to have enough wafers available for Ordinate 2, we should see a good amount of GPUs available at launch. Of that being said, we have seen reports that AIBs haven't been given enough time to make their own custom cards ready at launch, which means that we think that these reference cards here will be the only variant available for the first weeks. And that begs the question, what do you think about these coolers let me know in the comments below we're gonna talk about performance here but before we do that let's talk about the recent gpu discoveries now the rdna 2 family will consist of three gpus in total we got navi 21 22 and 23 up until now uh, there's been plenty of leaks in regards to navi 21 aka sienna cichlid or big navi there has been little to no info about the smaller ones navi 22 and navi 23 until now. Navi 22 as well as Navi 23 have now been spotted. And Navi 23 was discovered by Komashi and Saka, codename Dimgrey, Kfish, and this is said to be the smallest ship in the RDNA family, possibly measuring 240 square millimeters. Now just a super quick recap, Navi 21 is said to be the biggest, with a whopping size of 505 square millimeters and 80 CUs. Now Navi 22 also known known as Navy Flounders, is apparently said to be about 340 square millimeter in size. This is said to be the GPU in between. The CU count for Navi 22 has also been discovered. AMD recently released a firmware for Linux that includes some numbers for upcoming Navi 22. And the number of CUs can be found by simply multiplying the first three values here. So, so we're essentially looking at 40 CUs for Navy Flounders. And so at face value, it looks as Navi 22 is have the performance of Navi 21, said to have 80 CUs. That being said, according to Rogue Game, Navi 22 is supposed to be 340 square millimeters. That to me sound a bit big considering its low CU count. For context here, for example, Series X has 52 CUs and is about 360 square millimeters. So there's something here that isn't right here. However, it should be said that it has been known for quite some time now that AMD is doing what they can to confuse things on purpose. What we can say for sure though is that by now we are pretty much 100% sure that Big Navi or Navi 21 or Sienna Cichlid, whatever you want to call it, is a monster. And in terms of performance, whether it beats the 3090 obviously remains to be seen. But again, according to credible leakers, there is a high possibility that Big Navi got the 3090 at the striking distance. I've been reading about most RDNA 2 leaks and rumors since AMD first announced it back in 2019. And I gotta be honest here guys, at first I was quite skeptical but I'm starting to get more confident that whatever AMD's got here is powerful enough to turn the market upside down. Honestly quite thrilled that this is finally happening. We need competition not just in the CPU space but in the GPU space as well. That is my two cents at least. Anyway as for pricing we're pretty confident that we're gonna see AMD try and undercut Nvidia quite hard. The only thing we're sort of questioning right now is whether AMD is gonna have 
uh, a competitive upsampling technology that can match Nvidia's DLSS. Now looking at the performance guys, AMD promises 50% better energy efficiency. This number cannot translate to 50% high performance at best. You typically have to choose between let's say 67% better power consumption at the same performance or maybe 20% high performance at the same consumption. Now just 20% high performance would make Navi 2 with 40 CUs end up at RTX 2080 super performance. That would put it probably right below the RTX 3070. But guys, let's try and take a step back for a second. Looking at Nvidia's GPU launch, it seems like they are trying to get as many GPUs out as quickly as possible, even though in hindsight, they probably should have waited a little while longer to get enough stock. To me guys, this is evidence enough. Now as for release date and when we can purchase these off the shelves, poll on Red Gaming Tech have been given information that October 9th will be the date where we expect to see reviews for these cards and October 15 is the date when we expect to have them in our hands. As a last note, there also seem to be some conflicting information regarding the memory. There's been a few claims that Navi 21 having HBM2 memory only, where other rumors have been saying that Navi 21 will use GDDR6. I am pretty confident that we're gonna hear more about this in the following day, so make sure to subscribe to never miss next episode. In the meantime, HPM2 or GDDR6, what would you like to see? Let us know in the comments below.